The summer is drawing to a close and before you know it, your kids will be on the bus back to school. For the next 10 minutes, we'll dig into what you need to know before the school year begins. First, the important dates. Most Guilford County, Winston-Salem, Forsyth County and Alamance Burlington schools start Monday, August 28th. All schools start dates haven't been without controversy. Some counties have opted to start earlier. Surrey County School starts on August 10th. Technically in violation of state law, the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction told us they don't have any authority to do anything if schools choose to ignore the start date law. However, individuals and groups can bring lawsuits against the school board concerning the start date. And that's not the only date you need to keep in mind. Parents of Winston-Salem for Scythe County students need to register bus stops now. The deadline is tomorrow for all students. If you don't sign up, your student won't have a bus stop until the middle of September. The deadline has already passed for Guilford County students. Some Alamance students will take the bus to a brand new school. South East Alamance High School, nicknamed the Stallions, is the first new school built in the county in 50 years. The $65 million facility teaches over 1,200 students. It has the latest safety features like security cameras and electronic door locks. The school will hold a tour of the new building next Monday. Guilford County is making strides to keep schools as safe as possible. New security features like body scanners, cameras and training hope to put the minds of parents at ease. One parent says it's a good start. We need to make sure that we are building on communication strategies and that's going to take more than one pathway, not just emails, but also the in person meetings that our superintendent started on last year, which were phenomenal. Mike Ritchie of the district school safety office says the technology is great, but building healthy teacher student relationships is important too. There's nothing more important than that staff member making that relationship with the child. That's what's going to keep us safe. The school board wants to keep expanding its security system in addition to the hundreds of cameras already upgraded on school buses. The board has discussed adding and upgrading thousands of more cameras. Safety upgrades in schools are always appreciated, but some Guilford County schools need some upgrades to the building themselves. Many of the 126 GCS schools are falling apart without the funds needed for repairs. This is from our HVAC, which is concerning, of course, when you have electrical panels in the same room. And unfortunately, this isn't the only area, of course. Now that money so desperately needed is rolling in, businesses and operations, Deputy Superintendent Dr. Julius Monk says $500 million is going to deferred maintenance. The work is just beginning. The goal is to finish maintenance repairs in priority schools in six years. I hate to say be patient, but please do be patient. Know that we are working to make sure that uh, we get these schools up and running in time for, um, for the start of school. And it's important to make sure your child is happy and healthy at school. North Carolina requires students to get a yearly physical, including staying up to date with vaccines. Children need to have a round of vaccinations before they start kindergarten. These before they start kindergarten, that is. Now, these include vaccines for measles, chicken pox, tetanus and polio. Students need another round of vaccines before sixth grade, including a booster for tetanus, and they also will need a booster for meningitis when they turn 16. And it's important to get that vaccine because meningitis, your highest risk of getting meningitis is when you go off to college and you're in a dorm room or in um, close settings. Patel says if your student needs vaccinations, call a pediatrician. With meningitis, it can kill you very quickly, and that's within a few hours. And you may not even recognize the signs or symptoms of it before it's too late. Well, it's almost time to head back to college. Fall semester at UNCG is fast approaching. Move in starts tomorrow. The school stop, drop and roll program gives students a time to set up rooms. Classes begin August 16th. And new North Carolina a and students start move in a little later, August 19th, with returning students coming to dorms a couple days after that. Classes begin for the Aggies August 23rd. Be careful shopping around those dates. Your Target or Walmart may be a little more crowded with all those college students getting settled. 
The Biden administration is still wiping out $39 billion in student debt loans. 800,000 borrowers will benefit. The first wave of automatic loan forgiveness has already been sent out through mail. Over the next year, the Department of Education will notify you if you qualify. You're eligible for forgiveness after making 240 to 300 monthly payments, about 20 to 25 years worth. The White House initially hoped to remove almost $500 billion in debt. The Supreme Court struck that effort down. It's important to know how to pay your student loans if you still need to. Scammers are jumping at the opportunity to try and trick you to paying them and not your loans. Here's the only way to safely pay back what you owe. Studentaid.gov is the official website for all federal student loans. This is where you'll find all the information that you need. And there are four steps to preparing for repayment. And they all start with studentaid.gov. The first step, updating your profile and contact information on your loan servicer's website and your studentaid.gov profile. Clicking here will help you confirm who your loan servicer is right now and give you an estimate of your payment due date and amount. Step two, you're gonna review your payment enrollment or sign up. Your banking info may have changed, so double check this. Number three, look at the loan simulator and find a repayment plan that works for you. And step number four, would an income driven repayment plan help you? You can look at applying for an IDR. Students are the only one who need to be ready for the school year. Teachers do too, and they need help. The Teacher Supply Warehouse provides GCS teachers free school supplies for their classrooms. This teacher says she is stocking up. Definitely index cards, glue sticks, pencils, um, notebooks. I like those um, clipboards, some dry erase markers. I'm excited because there's so many things that we need at the beginning of the school year, so it's just a great way to stock up on supplies. And teachers can sign up to shop at the warehouse on their website. That's all we have for Dig Into It today. Make sure you and your family are ready for the school year. We wish you luck.